I had a, a, an opportunity to meet someone, and I'm going to share it with you this evening. I had not intended to. I was going to have Brother Tim do it on Sunday because uh, uh, he was there, and he he took these he took these pictures. And uh, in the meetings in Murfreesboro, I was just told to uh, that there was a couple gentlemen wanted to see me. And Brother Hamad said, you can have my office, and you can just meet together there. So Brother, Brother Tim was there, and one of the deacons was there, Brother Hamad, and uh, this uh, elderly man uh, came in. Perhaps we can show that first slide there. And uh, he said, now while you're just looking at that slide, he said, uh, I was called out by Brother Branham. I said, yes. He said, November the 8th in 1953. And this was November the 8th, 2015. That was exactly 62 years ago. And he said, and if I forget anything, Brother Tim, you can feel free to interrupt. But he said, I had believed, I believed that I had, uh, I had committed the unpardonable sin. And there was no hope for me. And I had decided to take my life. I had decided to commit suicide, and he put his hand up like that. And he said, uh, uh, a man, a friend of mine, uh, told me about a meeting that was taking place, and the man who was speaking was William Branham, he said. Uh, he said, I didn't want to go, and I refused to go. But he said the man really persuaded him to go. And uh, it was in Owensboro, Kentucky, on November the 8th, and you can look it up if you wish, but I have prepared these slides for you this evening, and uh, Brother Aaron Hardy worked today very hard and to get this ready, because I wanted to take it to Dallas and show the saints down there. This brother's name is Brother Alfred Thompson. He was 23 years old when Brother Branham called him out. And you could now show, if you would, Brother Aaron, and the audio portion of what Brother Branham had spoke to him. Howdy do, sir. Now there's something strange about you, sir. Satan has desired to take your life. You're all tore up. You think you can send away your day of grace. You think your life is ruined. You love Jesus. What makes you love him? Before there could be anything to, to make you love him, there has to be a creator to create the love in your heart. Is that right? If you'd spend away your day of grace, you would hate Jesus. But you love him, and you're all right, and the devil's just lying to you. You're nervous. Come here, and I'll pass him away for you. Do you believe it? Bow your head and keep your head about everyone. So you hear him say, raise up. This is demonology. Almighty God, be merciful to the boy. He stands here and takes some time to get him to get in this condition to commit to his time. But God hears the reason why to make this evil spirit go and now I said, These signs shall follow them that believe. And my name they'll cast out devil. Set up all the authority of God's word. As a believer, I now ask the spirit that calls the boy of unbelief to leave him. Go out in the name of Jesus Christ and bother him no more. Amen. I set him free and made the enemy be bound and leave us through. And torment no one else in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. And I want now, you to. You're all right. Now you raise your head. Feel all right, my son. Is that right? Devil, he had committed suicide in a few days. That was on his mind. He thought he'd send away his day of grace. When he come up a real black, heavy, like a fog, meet me in the face, that's devil. The boy's free now, he feel happy. 
For whom rejoicing, thanking God for his goodness. God bless you. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Are you believing with all your heart? Amen. Will you just go back to the slide previous, uh, if you would, Brother Aaron? Uh, no, the, the audio slide, just previous to the closing. I would like you to notice, please, here at the, no, the one previous to that. Yes, thank you. He's saying, the prophet is speaking to the spirit, go out in the name of Jesus Christ and bother him no more. And I set him free, and may the enemy be bound and leave this room and torment no one else in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Uh, he wasn't just dealing for one person. He was dealing at all were there. Amen. And when we were having prayer in the study, I simply said, that God, what, 62 years? It isn't even a breath to him. He's eternal. That God is the same tonight. Amen. And when he said that he's bound to leave this room and torment no one else, this man didn't come. He doesn't know we're giving this testimony tonight. If you are in that state, if you are tempted with those thoughts, you can tell the devil tonight, he's done, he's finished, and you are free, and you can go home and be happy. Do you believe that? I say praise be to God. I would like Brother, Brother Nathan if he would... Uh, have us stand and sing once more. They, if you are bound, some midnight hour. Amen. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. All the naysayers, until they produce that, to for me, they're done. <laughs> amen. You say amen. With, amen. amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. God bless you. Midnight hour, if you should find you're in a prison in your mind, reach out and pray. Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
We worship you and we praise you, Lord Jesus. How great are your works, Lord God. How great is your grace, O Lord, your marvelous grace, Father. We thank you, O Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. You break every chain. You break every fetter, Father. Oh, great Holy Spirit, come down in our midst tonight, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, speak to us, Lord. Minister to us, Father. Heal your people, oh, Lord Jesus. Great dove of the Holy Spirit, come fluttering down amongst us, Lord. Anoint our ears to hear, Father, our hearts to receive, oh, God. Oh, lift us up into heavenly places, Father. We worship you tonight, Lord God. We call upon your name, O oh Lord. We confess that we are a needy people, O oh God. We need more of you, Father. We need a closer walk with you, Lord. Oh, move in our midst, Lord, Lord Jesus. Draw us close to your bleeding side, O oh Father. We give you all the glory and honor and praise, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.